here we have a 2010 C Debitha 1.4 TSI it's the little supercharger model uh, the particular engine code for this one is CAVE but this fault and this fault code um, is very popular across the uh, VAG range which includes the VW Audi C range okay you've probably stumbled over my channel because you've got the same fault okay so let's take a look so as you can see with the snapshot of my diagnostic screen uh, it's coming up with the fault that I've circled in in red there okay ignore the ones below it they're just historic faults so this one here P001600 crankshaft position camshaft position correlation bank 1A sensor here the faults permanent but you've got to really read the diagnostic description here so I've seen it many times where people go out and buy a crankshaft or a camshaft position sensor pop it in and then they think that's going to fix it nine times out of ten across these ranges um, it's right that the computers picked an issue up between the crankshaft and the camshaft yeah so the correlation the relationship between them two sensors something isn't right and that's what made me think when I looked at this car when it came in and I'm thinking I'm not going to go out and buy a sensor I want to check to make sure that the relationship between crank and cam can only lie down to one fault which is the timing okay so I know that a variable valve timing we know it could be multiple things but for something free of charge in 30 minutes of your time you can check the mechanical side of the timing which I'll show you on here okay if you look at this illustration here of the cylinder head uh, particular focusing on the back end of the camshafts if you remove the two blank and plugs that you have on yours uh, they just held on with two 10mm bolts uh, you'll be revealed with the timing marks which I've identified in green here so to get your timing marks you need to get your crankshaft to top dead center and where it's highlighted in green on this illustration that's where your camshaft should be if they're not it's more than likely that the chain is physically stretched just like this car I'll just show you on this video and just through excess mileage uh, the chain gets hot it stretches causes the pulleys to jump throws the timing out which throws out the relationship with your cam position sensor and your crank position sensor hence you get the fault code p001600 okay this car's been very lucky um, we've managed to get the timing back in place via a new timing chain kit uh, all change and filter, new tensioner and the card is running back to how it should be I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial uh, I hope it's give you some benefit or a good starting point to diagnose your car against that fault code please consider subscribing by hitting the red icon on the bottom right hand of the screen and you'll get to see more of my tutorials